Hi everyone, this is Microwave Sam. Here's the second part of the series of me teaching Bootstrap and the necessary info to learn the framework. This tutorial video will focus on HTML, which will need to go over HTML's necessary fundamentals in case you don't know them. Upcoming will be a crash course on all the basic essentials of HTML to know. Straight from Wikipedia, HTML is an abbreviation of Hypertext Markup Language, a standardized system for tagging text files to achieve font, color, graphic, and hyperlink effects on the World Wide Web. So in other terms, HTML, just a basic text file with the content of your page. So we'll be going through everything very quickly. First thing off is we're going to be explaining about the paragraph tags which you basically put inside this section for the paragraph tags about uh, several sentences in paragraph format so to do this you just do caret p caret then close it off with caret slash p caret now next up is the header tags so h1 is the biggest header tag and you do that by caret h1 caret caret slash h1 caret and header tags are used to just write a few words in titled emphasized format so it'll appear larger and it'll appear bold a little bit bigger than the paragraph sections in addition there are also h2 headers h3 headers h4 5 and 6 headers in the same format as you see right now with the h1 header tags so you can do it by caret h2 caret write a few words as your subtitle then caret slash h2 caret to close off the tag and you can do this with h3 which would be an even smaller header tag so what we will do right now is preview it in our browser you just save it control s right click open in containing folder and then you can right click index.html and open it in Google Chrome or, fi or Firefox. And if I zoom in, you can see header tag is a just a big title, smaller header tags, even smaller header tag, and some paragraph tags in sentence paragraph format. So next up, we're going to be explaining how to do the spans. So a span is just another type of section that uh, you can use. Spans are very similar to paragraph tags, except it will not create a space in between a span and a paragraph. And a paragraph in between sections would create a space in between. So there's nothing very in particular with spans, but it's good to know. There's another section called section. Um, in the same tag format that we've been using and that's basically the same thing as span but there's no space in between as in paragraph and you can see there's no space in between it just continues so span would be probably useful if you want to color a specific sentence and then you just want to follow it through with another paragraph section so to create the space, we can do a caret br caret, caret br caret, two or so spaces in between. It creates a space, and you can see this space in between the span and the paragraph section. Also, a useful tip on Sublime is you can press tab to autocomplete. Now, for spaces between words. Uh, we just went over spaces between sections, which you would do with caret br caret. Now, between words, uh, you wouldn't have any difference if you just put multiple spaces manually. If you hit the space button manually between, for example, 1, I'll write in word 1, and 2, and I put a bunch of spaces in between, it should still appear as one space still. So I'll just save and refresh the page. And if I zoom in, you can see between one and two, there's still just a single space. So to code or to put the HTML uh, format of a uh, space, 
you would do and s b s p semicolon to code a space so the solution as i write right now is it, um the and symbol s b s p semicolon which is the manual html version of space basically so to see it in action i'm just going to write one again like um what i did with above and then paste the and s b s p semicolon a couple times and it should appear as five spaces in addition it would also have an additional space because i put a space between one and the and s b s p so six spaces and if we zoom in you can see six spaces in between one and two So next up is the list items inside an unordered list. Now we're just gonna go over the paragraph tag and we're gonna create an unordered list. So we can do caret ul caret caret slash ul and this would be an unordered list. And now in this unordered list we'd put list items which are created by um, li items so basically carrot li carrot carrot slash li and these li items within the unordered list would just be bullet points uh, in a list format uh, going in sequential order and one after the other so if we do three li items with home about in contact and we save these it would be in bullet format with home and then about and then content now that's pretty useful and that would be basically useful for navigation um, bars on the top of the page um, and in combination of CSS you'll see it form now we'll go over anchor tags with href and anchor tags of href provide a method of making words into links basically which I find the most useful way of using anchor tags so if you do caret a for anchor and then href equals a link and I'll just quote my YouTube channel link you must put HTTP colon slash slash if you put youtube.com without the HTTP then you'll have some errors because it won't refer to a new link and then you can after you close it with another carrot and then end it with carrot slash a carrot in between you can put some words like a link to microwave Sam's YouTube channel now if we save this you can see that uh, we'll just refresh the page and then you can see the link right here if I click it I would actually go to my YouTube channel and this is how anchor tags work anchor tags provide a method to kind of link other pages the most uh, used method of anchor tags just linking to different pages so next up is what if we want to have uh, the link in a different tab you would do that by spacing after anchor um, after the a and then doing target equals quote underscore blank quote so target equals quote underscore blank quote will open the anchor tag link in another tab of your browser so to demonstrate we'll just refresh the page and click on a link to microwave Sam's YouTube channel and it opens in a new tab and next up is images now images work fairly simply with image source uh, IMG for image and then SRC for the source and if you look into your image folder of bootstrap project I left an image in mine I just saved uh, my YouTube channel icon image as photo dot jpg so you can image source 
that uh, file by just quote image folder slash photo dot jpg quote slash and the image will appear on your uh, site now we can do just an explanation here I roll image source is in the image folder and the file name is photo dot jpg so it follows the format of image slash photo dot jpg and it appears on our site like that as the current size now what we can do is we can change the size of the image by spacing after the quoted image uh, in, in quotes and then we can change the height equals a certain number of pixels in this case I did quote 50 pixels quote pixels is represented by PX and we can create an alternative name in case the photo does not load which we do by alt alt equals quote any words you want maybe you want to name it microwave sims photo in my case and you can just have that as a backup in case the photo does not load so I'll demonstrate in a little bit For example, now if I change the photo.jpg to a non existent file like photo1.jpg, we'll see that the alternative name pops up so that you don't get a missing image or just a random block with uh, no image. And so we have this backup word that just says Microwave Sam's photo. But in Google Chrome is uh, unique and you don't see that alternative name. So I'll spend a moment to open uh, the project in Firefox now. Okay, so, oops, wrong folder. Just gotta open this. And here's index.html. I'll open it up in Firefox. Now, here is Firefox. Now, compared to Google Chrome, Google Chrome had this block with an empty image, while Firefox will use the alternative name as shown. And now, we'll demonstrate how to kind of combine everything together. Anchor tags with images, anchor tags with link uh, li elements, so that you can have an image that is linked to a separate website. Now first off, we'll check with the image. And you can surround the image source with um, an anchor tag, which we do by caret a href equals quote. Let's do another link. Let's just link it to my blog. Uh, HTTP quote, uh, colon slash slash micromodspot.com slash close it up with um, the quote and then carrot and then carrot slash a quote and this surrounds the image and if you notice an image there for the ending um, basically for image you don't need a ending tag basically for image it's within just the two carrots and you're all good and as demonstrated when I click the image it goes to my blog so we'll also do this with the li items list items so let's just go to home and same thing you surround the list item uh, it's the same as the image where you surround the whole uh, element with the anchor tag and you can just go to a different link quote and a carrot like we've been doing then end it with uh, the end tag and home will now be a linked object and if I click on it it'll go to my YouTube channel like so
Now finally, the last thing that I want to show is embedding YouTube videos on your web page. Now you can do this by going to a YouTube video and then selecting share. Then you go to embedded and underneath YouTube provides code in which you place into your HTML file. You can select the video size and all you need to do is right click and copy. Now it's a uh, the YouTube videos are embedded in a different section called an iframe. Iframes are these little contained boxes in which you can place YouTube videos among other things. But we're focusing on YouTube videos. So the source you need to change the beginning slashes into HTTP colon slash slash. It does not work with just the two slashes as in the YouTube embedded. And if you save and refresh, you can see the YouTube video onto um, your web page in which you can play naturally and it plays regularly. Now, the reason why I have the playlist going on is because I had the playlist section checked on the video. And if you just want the video without the playlist, you can just uncheck this small little checkbox. And there you have it. You can just copy this change the slash slash into HTTP colon slash slash and then you can save and refresh. Now this has been a really lengthy really tough crash course of HTML if you're not familiar with it but just replay the video a couple times and thanks for watching.